Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So today I want to talk a little bit about how to protect your files from danger or damage, if you will. So the way I protect my files right now in my toolbox. Now I just saw a really neat one by Mark Asprey. Uh, he done some file work and I want to take a, I'll put a link to his video right here in the cards. Uh, he uses a like a small fire hose, it's like a Kevlar hose, and that is wonderful. And that's something I'm going to start doing as soon as I can locate me some. But right now, the way that I protect my files and the easiest way that I have found is old grease shop rags. So they're about the perfect thing to cover up a file with. And if they've actually been used on auto mechanics at some point in time, they keep the the file somewhat oily. It keeps it somewhat have an oil finish to it so it does not rust. I also keep these in a clean dry place. I don't let them just be out and exposed in the air. When I'm done using them they go right back and get rolled up in these grease towels and that's how they live and they live in my toolbox that way. Uh, so that's how I keep all my stuff done. It's very easy to pull them out you can get right to filing with them. And I shape all my handles a little bit different so I know what file I'm about to grab out uh, without even looking at it. But again, you just wrap it up and now you're good to go. Uh, it's a quick way of taking and doing it. Like I said, uh, you can do that. Now, uh, when I was doing an internship with Tom Latine, he does something very similar. He's got cloth. He's got like cloth that he has that he's actually soaked in like a paraffin, like a paraffin wax or something like that. And he says that helps keep the file, you know, free and clear. That's where I kind of got the oil thing from. Uh, that helps keep the file from rusting. Uh, files are not that expensive anymore. Uh, you know, they're not super expensive to take in. Uh, get or buy or obtain anymore. You can get them anywhere. So it's not like it's hard. It's not like you have to make your own file these days. But it's still worth because a good file can cost you between, you know, $6 all the way up to $20. So uh, it is a small bit of investment that you may want to take and keep clean and well done. Uh, I'm going to grab something that just fell on the floor here for a second. Whoa! There we are. Uh, so this right here is called a file carter. This is one of the greatest things that you can use to take and keep your files tuned up. Um, this also prevents damaging the files by protecting from the chips getting stuck in the actual grooves of that file or the teeth of the file. You can clean out the teeth and get it to back to sharpness to where it can keep on uh, filing. So those are some quick techniques. Uh, if you have any interest in the files I use in my shop, and you're needing to get some files, there's some affiliate links that go to help the channel uh, in, down in the description down below. Uh, it's the little arrow right below where this talk is happening here. And I will also put a link to this file carter as well uh, to my, most of my used files. So hopefully that'll help you. And if it did, make sure you leave a like and uh, comment what you thought of the video. And like always, God bless you, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.